2012 and the future looks great. Our society is creating technology much faster than the market allows. Still, modern commercial goods continue to enable and organize society. The potential uncovered is so great, it truly is a new age. But anyways, I'm here to spread the word on one unique advancement that could change the way we see computing or even life. And I don't have much time. The advancement I'm talking about is DNA computing. Here's the rundown. DNA computing refers to using small segments of DNA to represent data, as opposed to silicon-based computers which use transistors storing voltage. The gene sequences can be read, altered, removed, and detected by enzymes which conduct the input and output for the DNA. Masses of duplicates must be present to ensure data correctness amongst natural mutation. But that's an organism. Just like us, these computers are powered by a t coenzyme that can be recycled with heat and sugar. Cells holding the DNA can feed themselves and regenerate. Because of this, DNA computers are about a billion times as energy efficient and organic. Why else would we want to use DNA instead of silicon? Three reasons. The first is memory. A gram of DNA, about a drop of water, can store an exabyte of data, 2 to the power of 60. To put that to scale, a University of Berkeley study from the year 2000 reported that humans produce up to two exabytes of data a year, mostly spam, no doubt. Second is parallel processing. Even though a single DNA gene sequence takes longer to react than an electron transfer, a liter of water can hold 10 to the power 22 independent DNA bases. A 2 gigahertz processor would take about 500,000 years to complete that many operations sequentially as this leader could do in one cycle. According to these claims, all data ever created by man could fit in a few drops, taking up less space than a micro SD card. No more need for giant buildings to house databases that demand intensive air conditioning. Amazing, but the most unique feature is inherent with DNA the fact that it reacts with the same environment that we do. This opens a new frontier for use in medicine, synthesizing commercial materials, anything's possible. In the name of medicine, intrusive biocomputers are being developed to detect or correct gene expressions causing disease. Meanwhile, personal human DNA gene sequencing costs have fallen drastically. After the current developments are complete, Commercial powerhouses will certainly embrace the economic benefit, and through them, this new technology will change our lives. But how will it? If we are to continue organizing our society, we may register a person's DNA sequence to their bank accounts, to their Facebook accounts. We could synthesize calories and eliminate the sensation of hunger. We could build an oracle database in a liter of water and eliminate individual hard drives and unify us globally. Does this sound scary to you? Like there's too much dependence on the tools of precise human organization? Well, if you want things done right, you gotta do them yourself. DNA programming languages and simulators are already in development. It seems inevitable that these controversial technologies will only change society through big business. And if you can't beat them, join them. So get ready and remember, what starts here changes the world.